What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Giselle, and this is the Black Table Conversations with Miss Giselle. And tonight we have Mrs. T. T. McGill in the building. Say hey to everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me, Miss Giselle. I'm so proud of you, my sister. And we've talked beforehand, and it feels like we know each other already. So I'm excited for this conversation. And just for your listeners, many blessings. And we're going to get into this conversation about this book, Mystery and Suspense. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. I love, love, love when I meet new authors, new business owners, entertainers, everything we do. We do some great things out here and just getting the people in touch with those people that are doing these wonderful things already in our community. I think it's a big thing. So I do appreciate that. All of that was received. Thank you so much. So yes, let's dive in. Let's start by talking about your work. What got you to this point to become an author? You know what? I, I you know, we, at being women, we have some, you know, it, we're not just moms. We're not just delved into our careers. There's so many layers to us. And so to balance it all out, we know we need to balance it out. You know, you know, we can't just be focused on work all the time. We can't just be focused on uh, being a chauffeur, routing, you know, kids from pillow to post, trying to get them everywhere. And also being devoted uh, spouses and wives. We do that. And we do that. We do that. Well, we do that the best that we can, but in order to create that balance, you need some type of space to kind of retreat to. And so it could be, art for someone, it could be exercise for someone. And for me, it started out as journaling. And then it took a little bit of a creative twist to it. And I started developing characters. And I said, you know what, I need to compilate this into something a little bit more meaningful. And then the storylines came and manifested. And there we are, we're into our second book, my, my second book, the first book Sparrow, The Night Ends, which was actually, I'm going to try to see if you can see this. I don't yeah, know I'll post it. Yeah, You're going to post it. Okay. Yes. And so Sparrow, The Night Ends was, was actually um, sold at Essence Fest and also uh, on a book tour in a stage production. And it's now screen written, ready, ready for the big screen. And then the second book, Sparrow, The Night Ends, it lead, leads into what's left off on that cliffhanger of that first dynamic book. So excited about the characters as well and what they're going to do next. I'm so excited. So let's talk about what is your genre for this, um, for this book series? Because it sounds like yeah. you're in a series, right? Yes, yes. This is a book series. It's a mystery and suspense genre. You know, I'm, I like to sit on the edge of my seat. I like to uh, watch something that will keep me, um, you know, wondering what's going to happen next. And I, I, I'm a, I like to, you know, want to anticipate turning those pages to figure out mm, what in the world is going on with these characters and how is this all going to end? And I wanted to create that space in that, that, that investment that you make in the book. So you feel like you are actually watching a movie when you're reading. I love it. Let me tell you, I can't wait to read this book. One, I'm into mysteries. I love it. I'm more so like, I think my first, well, my first book is the ebook that's coming out. Okay. Um, well, congrats, congr congratulations. The year, to the end of this year, the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. um, next year. It's, and that's since I'm not that into you. I mean, since he's not that into you. But mm -hmm. um, the next one, I was like, I really want to try sci fi. How many black oh, sci fi writers do you, is out there like that? And I have a good yeah. story. I even had the title of the book, it's in my mind. So I'm like, I got to push that. But mm -hmm. like, this mystery and suspense, we love that because it's like, mm -hmm. that's why we get caught up watching Lifetime shows. You turn on yes. Lifetime, you're on it for three days at a time. And exactly. after the show, even if the shows are um, like, even if the shows are corny, we sit there and we watch <laughs> it. Like, dang, I decided to stay. And even, and even if they're predictable, you watched it. Yes. And you know, and so there is to your point, there's so the Lifetime, there's there's the, the other streaming platforms, the Hulu's, Netflix. I don't want to leave anybody out. There's just so many that are out there now that has such good content. And so I encourage you and each and every one of the listeners that you have 
to actually, if you have that passion or creativity to actually walk that out. Um, if you want to um, start writing, just talk to some authors. You know, there's there's so many of us out there. And then also too, you can actually take a class or what have you, because there are, I believe that God put places seeds within us. Okay. And it's up to us to, do, to nurture those seeds and to cause them to manifest. And so you know, kudos to you. I mean, I'm excited about your upcoming book as well. Yep. As soon as season is off, I'm on to <laughs> project number 29,000, right? Oh yeah. But, oh yeah. Okay. So what made you decide to do something in a sequel pattern and like how many, how many levels to this are you like trying to reach for? You know what? I'm glad that you asked that question. The, the The concept of the book is is mystery and suspense. There is the protagonist or the main character of the book is Dr. Sparrow Mac. She is a boss chick. She has so many layers to herself. She has a family, a booming career, and she, she stays too very, very, very true to her core and her roots. Okay, she keeps it 100. And there's an intangible tethering between her and her best friend Luke who is the polar opposite and also viewed as the antagonist in, in the book. And so through the blood infested waters, you have to determine if they're going to live to see another day. And so that's the premise of the foundation of the book. I love it. Can't wait to get to one and two, because I know three is going to be on fire. So yes. on this note, we're going to take a quick break, guys. Okay. And we will be back with author and fabulous diva oh, thank <laughs> you McGill. all right but if a man doesn't have a job or an income he has neither life nor liberty and the possibility for the pursuit of happiness if you think of your life could it be a book a lot of people have stories to tell but they just don't know how to translate it to paper this is why I created Area Justice Media Group, LLC. At Area Justice Media Group, we are entertainment. Instead of a script, we write our own stories, use our own imagination, and entertain readers all around the world. My name is Elizabeth Roberts, and I'm an author and a book publisher. Not only do I publish books, but I make them come to life on the TV screen. I have had one of my books featured on The Real. I have worked with numerous of celebrities in the book and film industry. My book trailers slash short films are now available on Roku, Amazon TV, Apple TV, and more. I have had the pleasure of writing a two-hour feature film, and I have now helped over 30 authors get published with their books being distributed via Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and more. In addition, I publish all genres, so nobody will be left out. In traditional publishing, you have to hire an editor, copywriter, formatter, and cover designer. At Area Justice Media Group, I am your one-stop shop from publishing to getting your book on the TV screen. Welcome to the group. With our beautiful author and one of our authors of the month, Miss T.T. McGill in the building. And yes. let's just go right back to our conversation. Let's talk about what your future projects are. Like what you got coming up. You know what? I'm so glad that you asked that. I'm very, very excited. And first of all, I am your author, T.T. McGill. I, it's just an honor to be your author. And I, can, and I call myself that because I listen to um, my, my readers, the hive of people that actually followed and supported um, from city to city during the book tour. And literally, um, you know, they say, hey, I want more or I want to see more of this character or more of that character. And I actually listen and actually respond and resulted in um, how, how the mapping out or the dialogues actually went in the second or the sequel of the book. And so the first book, Sparrow, um, The Water's Edge is now screen written. And I have a line producer. And so we're working on that. I even, girl, I even got my lookbook ready, girl. I got, I know who I, who, who I want to cast. But anyway, God is good. And I know he's going to uh, make a way for all of that. And so I, I, I'm eager to continue with the book tour. I have a book tour actually coming up. And, you know, this is a very unique time. So stay tuned to the T.T. McGill Book Club on Facebook, and you'll find out more information about the upcoming uh, second book chat, as well as the upcoming book tour. We are praying and hoping that that will be in person. 
and we're, we're nimble and agile to be able to adjust to whatever goes on within the world at that time. But I will be in communication with um, the TT McGill followers and the Sparrow uh, Water's Edge and Sparrow the Night End followers. And so I'm so excited about that. Well, that is wonderful. And um, you said a couple of things on where what you have going on. So where exactly can people find you? I know um, you mentioned Facebook. It sounds like that's in a hot spot for you. So let us know what your handles are on your Facebook, IG, Twitter, um, wherever. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm glad you asked that. So TT uh, McGill Book Club is just TT McGill. You can look that up on Facebook as well as on Instagram and Twitter is TT McGill one. And so you can check me out and all of those platforms, you'll find some information. We do some fun things in regards to having some dialogue, some book, ch book chats with um, people who are just avid readers who just love to open up a good book, sit down, kick up their feet, you know, just whatever. Um, Actually, there's a lot of men who actually love and actually support it. So a lot of times when I first, when I first started talking about it, I would say, yes, mommy, me time or girls night out. But I have, I have had to expand that territory. And um, a lot of the supporters I have are men as well, my husband and his friends and, and relatives, et cetera. So they said, don't exclude the, don't exclude the men. We like to read too, men read too. So <laughs> I, I but no. Agree. Yes, yes. So, so I am so excited about the momentum and actually that people feel like when they sit down and read this book that they are really sitting across from one of their good girlfriends in uh, or that they can actually go out to eat, have a, a, a ladies night out, a uh, happy hour with Dr. Spiro Mac and listen to all the, the Myers that she is going through and see how they can actually step in the gap and bridge the gap as her sister friend. So it's a very relatable book and I am sure you will enjoy. All right. I agree. I like, again, I can't wait to read this book. And I'm one of those people I read first thing in the morning, I get up and I always yeah. read current events, world news, like from here, mm -hmm. from local to across the world, because mm -hmm. I just like knowing what's going on because exactly. it changes by noon for some odd reason. I noticed that with the news, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's important to highlight how many of us really do read that, that mythical um, black people don't read. If you don't, if you want to teach them something, um, you want, don't want them to know something, put it in a book. That's an absolute lie because we yeah, have, that's not, you yeah. and mm -hmm. to I sing you. So people read all day long. Um, exactly. actually, um, Liz was talking about that in her last interview. She was like, no, it's readers all over the place. So don't exactly. give us that title. We will never be that group. We were sneaking exactly. reading and risking our lives <laughs> to do it during slavery. So if it's one thing we do, we say, oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Now, um, yes. now, what would you like to, what is something that you would like to leave everyone with? Something that'll motivate the next person because people who are listening and tuning in, I always mm -hmm. say, we're going to get the people at the right time. So whatever you say is meant for whoever comes in and hear your voice right now. So whatever's on your heart, you leave it with them. You know what? I would say, first of all, thank you for this platform. I am truly humbled and honored to be here. And I would, I would first say to you, continue doing what you're doing because you're doing a good thing and you're doing a service within all communities. One thing that I would actually leave anyone who's listening with is that God has actually placed something within you that you need to nurture and birth. Meaning, whether it's, it doesn't have to be as it's something that's just so astronomically profound in your mind. You're, you're gifted for a reason. And so many times society tries to um, compare us against each other, okay? There's a standard. Each one of us is very, very, very unique. We have specific gifts. So whether it's something that it's, uh, will put you on a platform of a stage or something that is of service, you have a gift and it is up to you to nurture it. So set aside that time. And granted, there's only 24 hours in a day, but we make time for what's important to us. And your gift is important to you. So you've got to make time to nurture it. I love it. I think I even received some of the stuff out of there. Yes, yes. absolutely nurture your gifts. 
nurture your kids. So, so excited that you came past the Black Table today. And I wish you so much success with your projects. Of course, the table is always open for you with many seasons to come. So never feel free. You can always stop by, especially when sequel number three, that when you have the sequel, then you got part three, whichever, I don't care. I've I've got part three. I've got the part three is edited and it's ready and it's on fire is lit. It is lit. But you know what? And I claim that one day we will be across from each other at the black table. How about that? (laughs) I claim that. I'm telling you, I admired Oprah and Wendy Williams like all of my life when it came to like just what they did. And it was something that I always wanted to do. And COVID hit. And then I saw how black businesses were like getting decimated. So I mm-hmm. said, we have to do something. Like, what can I do? So I just mm-hmm. started, like, pulling people out. Like, yeah. I started, like, yeah. hey, let me just start this show. And it first started off with just, like, a conversation to just only empower, like, hey, empower Black people, like, Black groups. Now I'm like, we need to hit each other on all levels. I don't have to only be one. It's just all we of do. Them. We have so much going yeah. on. We need all hands on deck. So like we need all hands on that. We, we and I love and I love that because it's 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 a, it's a matter of when when one is hurting, we're all hurting. Yes. You know, each one teach one. We've we've got to not be siloed. We've got to expand our net and enrich each other because that I believe ultimately that's what we're here for. I mean, it's not right. about me. It's not about you. It's about us collectively. Right. And so we've got to we've got to. Um, kind of sometimes get out of our own way in, in what's going on in our lives and really see the bigger picture of why we're here. And we're here to be a blessing to each other. And so that's what I'm about. And you have been a blessing to everyone on this table today. Oh, thank you. I want to say that. And again, guys, her links will be in the bio. Um, go and buy her book. We need to have like a, like a, a book party when, when you do your launch let me write that down when, when you know what the, the book the book the book actually launched in um in september and we're actually so i will definitely keep you posted because there's going to be a a bigger a book chat too there was a book chat one and you'll see it in, in the reel that that i'm going to send you and it was absolutely phenomenal there's been many many supporters in the industry that actually showed up and supported and actually sewed into me so much along this journey i'm so humbled and honored for their friendships as well as you know i can't i i, I can't ever leave an, an interview without saying i'm so blessed to have a wonderful king in my life my husband Amen. who, who actually who who stands um and it makes sure the business piece is taken care of but just stands in the gap for what i need and also my, my wonderful wonderful son who I, I am so so proud of in in walking in his purpose and leadership and academic sports and doing his thing so just you know we gotta we gotta lift our kids up keep them lifted up in prayer and guidance because they are our future and so i i'm in, i'm encouraged you know there's so many so many um uh, reasons for us to look at the glass half empty right now but i am encouraged that by doing shows like this we can start to view it as not just half full but also that we can refill it when we need to absolutely or just get another glass keep refilling it over and over keep, keep refilling it keep Rise refilling it to the it. top and create another <laughs> that's how we're going to keep this going we're going to act yes. like water anyway i'm glad you used that glass analogy we yes. act like water greatness always finds greatness so yes. regardless of all of the adversities and things they try to do to separate us we always come back together that's how dope we are as a people yes. um, and i say that even um when they say we were facing zero wealth by 2053. And because of that, um, because of COVID, they in, um, escalated it to the 2030s. I said, we're going we're gonna to knock that out. All you had to do was let yeah. us know. And we all, whoever, people are getting in places, you are getting out in your place, your family, you got your mm-hmm. son, you got your husband. We mm-hmm. are building and we're getting in place because we don't just allow things like that to happen. We come from the dopest lineage that ever existed. On the oh, planet. yes. So yes. That's how we you know, <laughs> and I and you know, I, I, I constantly believe and this is this is something that that's very true to form. I, I I'm humble because I know who sto- whose shoulders I stand on. Mm-hmm. I've 
anybody who sits back and, and thinks, you know, has the narcissism or the, or the grandiosity to think that they got somewhere by themselves is sadly mistaken. And so you've got to stay humble. And so I'm, I'm, I'm so honored that you allowed me to actually be in this space and to share with your viewers. And I'm, I'm gonna encourage you to keep on keeping on and doing what, you're doing, doing what you're doing. You're doing a wonderful thing and so proud of you. Thank you so much. And on that note, guys, we will holla at you later. Definitely check out our sister on Facebook, IG, all of those Twitter, every space and beyond. All right? Yeah. And it's for right. next time, peace, love, reparations, and everything else in between.